In this video, I will show you how to assemble the Drock Buck Converter. They have all sorts of instructions in this book, but none of it tells you how to assemble the thing. So that's the purpose of this video. You'll see that you have the top, the bottom, the Buck Converter board, four of the double female standoffs, four of the female male standoffs, they're a little shorter, and eight screws and two of these switches. First thing you want to do is make sure that you've got, you take off the uh, brown paper off the, both of the top and the bottom of these. I've already taken the brown paper off, so I'm good here. Notice though that this thing can go two ways. One way, it hangs over. You don't want that. You want it to go the other way. So the, all the holes line up. So step one is you pull the paper off of the top, and then you take a screw, put it through the hole, take your shorter standoffs, that's the male and female, and just give it a twist. And then the second one, same way. Number three, again, same thing. Just make them finger tight. You don't want this too tight, because if you make it too tight, you'll crack the plastic or strip the, the standoffs, neither of which will be very good for you. Okay, I've got all four on here. So this is ready to go on top of this. Now we gotta get those switches in place before we put this on top. And also there's a little hole there. You can see that with the black and the red wires. You've got to either move the wires. That's probably the easiest thing. Just move them to the side a little bit. Don't push too hard or they will break and you'll be having to solder. Okay, so these little switches cover those little switches like this. And the easiest way is to take your top, turn it upside down one switch in, put two switches in, put your board upside down, line up the holes, and it fits right in place. Holding it together with your thumb, give those switches a little test to make sure to make sure they do switch on and off. So this is what it should look like before you put the bottom on. The bottom, hold it together with your fingers, you're gonna take these double female standoffs and you're gonna just twist them on. Just like that. If you're getting the wrong size, side, you might have to spin it around. There, that's the right side. There's two sides. One's cut for the screw and one's cut for the shorter standoff. If it doesn't fit one way, turn it around the other way. That's two. That's three. Wrong way. Well, maybe that was the right way. Yes. And that's four. Now we put the bottom on. Technically, you can leave the paper on or take it off as you wish. But line up, line up the holes so you have this connector and that connector showing through like that. You're gonna take your remaining screws one in here and it gets a little more difficult because you can't turn the screw so easily with your hand. I'm going to grab a small screwdriver it's always good to back it out and then put it in this way you can line up the threads and that goes nicely into place. I'm going to line up the opposite end 
Don't tighten them all down yet. Just get them all mostly in. That's two. Of course, this screwdriver is magnetized. But yours doesn't have to be. Of Some people like to magnetize their screwdrivers. Sometimes it's very helpful, and sometimes it's a pain. And there we go. We have all four screws in. I'm going to tighten it down a little bit more, but don't over tighten it because, again, the plexiglass may strip and break, or certainly the standoffs will strip and break. I, you notice I left the back paper on. You really don't have to take it off unless you want to. So that's it. And I did forget one small thing and I'm gonna take it off with the screwdriver. There's a piece of plastic here that has to come off. Otherwise your display won't look very good at all. In my next video, I'll go into programming it and setting it up. And there you have it, the Drock Buck Converter assembled. It's a nice package, and hopefully it'll be real good on my robot, my robot Betty 9.